Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Ashley with Evans Behavioral Services. I am continuing on with my task list study prep for the VCBA exam. Uh, today we are going to be talking about, again, philosophical assumptions, um, specifically section A-2 of the task list. Let's get started. So as a reminder, um, we talked about this in the last video for section A-1, um, but philosophical underpinnings are those building blocks uh, of the remaining sections of the task list. Um, they're the basic you know, scientific principles, philosophical assumptions, dimensions of ABA, and more. Um, today we are going to be talking about philosophical assumptions. So A-2 is explain the philosophical assumptions underlying the science of behavior analysis. Um, there are five philosophical assumptions. Um, they are a set of shared assumptions regarding the way that the world works. So selectionism, determinism, empiricism, parsimony, and pragmatism are the ones that we are going to talk about. Um, so selectionism, uh, you'll want to think about natural selection and you think of selectionism. It's the belief that behaviors are selected to be kept or get gotten rid of based on environmental factors. Um, so behaviors are only going to continue if they can adapt to their environment. Um, selectionism is further broken down into phylogenic and ontogenic. Phylogenic is selection by natural evolution of species. So that occurs within a species. Think. Um, Years ago, uh, adult humans were unable to digest lactose. Over time, uh, we started to depend on dairy farming for a source of nutrients, and therefore our bodies as a whole species uh, began to adjust to be able to digest lactose. Um, and now the majority of human adults can digest lactose. Um, the ontogenic is selection as a result of interactions with the environment. So this is um, at a personal level. So, you know, you can think of many examples, but a uh, student's hand raising behavior at school is reinforced, thus the behavior continues to occur. Um, so that behavior adapted to its environment and receives reinforcement for it. Determinism. This is the belief that the universe is lawful and orderly. So in this, in Within determinism, we don't consider behaviors to occur randomly. They're always occurring in relation to other events. Um, so for example, I oftentimes hear therapists, RBTs, caregivers say, you know, this behavior it is happening out of nowhere. I have no idea why they did this. Um, you know, there's there was no reason for this behavior to occur. That would, those statements violate determinism. Um, while we might not be able to immediately you know, at first glance, see why a behavior is occurring. Every behavior does serve a purpose. Nothing occurs randomly. Um, empiricism. This is objective observation of behaviors and events. This is based on information gathered through our senses. So, you know, sight, touch, smell, all of those, um, and does not include thoughts, feelings, or anything that can't be objectively observed through our senses. Um, so example, I observed a child hit you cannot observe a child feel mad. So I wouldn't say the child hit because they were mad. Um, there, you know, while there are subjective ways to measure feelings, empiricism only involves objective observation. So only things that you can directly take in or observe through your senses. Parsimony, this involves considering the most logical and simplest explanations before considering other possibilities. Um, so, for example, you have a client who one day you get to session and his behavior, you know, he's engaging in significantly higher aggressions than in recent sessions. Um, you probably aren't going to jump to, you know, conducting a new FBA, an updated FBA right off the bat. Um, perhaps his mom reports that he was awake at 3 a.m. and didn't go back to sleep probably very tired. A lack of sleep in that case might be a parsimonious explanation as to why, you know, there's the increase in behaviors. It's not, not an antecedent, but rather a setting event. Um, and that's kind of the simplest explanation. Um, that's not saying that, you know, his lack of sleep definitely caused the aggressions or anything like that, but it's just considering the most simplest logical explanations before considering other possibilities that might take more time and resources, things like that. And pragmatism uh, involving involves analyzing how useful an explanation of behavior is by looking at whether it produced 
beneficial results. So you're working on teaching a kiddo to tie their shoes. Um, you analyze the teaching strategies based on whether they were successful in teaching that intended skill. So did it result in the child learning how to tie their shoes? All right. Uh, so in the last video for A-1, we went over, you know, kind of how to break down these questions on the exam and mock questions um, based on um, process of elimination. So uh, I'm going to continue doing that in this video and future ones. Um, so you, the mock question here, you are serving your client engaged in play with his sister. They're playing, getting along nicely when suddenly he grabs a toy out of her hand and hits her. Which of the following explanations for this behavior demonstrates determinism? A, he hit for no reason. B, he hit in order to access the toy. C, the behavior was random. D, he didn't know why he hit. All right, so we're gonna start by eliminating the, eliminating one option. Um, so first I eliminated the behavior was random. So think about what determinism is. Determinism, says that each behavior has a reason. So therefore the behavior was random would not uh, be correct. So we could eliminate that one because we know that determinism um, is not, determinism tells us that behaviors are not random. Um, so similarly, hit for no reason, very similar to random. <laughs> um, so we could eliminate that one too. Um, he hit for some reason, whether, you know, whatever the reason was, hitting for no reason we could eliminate. Um, and then he did not know why he hit. Um, this again violates determinism because every behavior has a purpose, every behavior, um, there is a function. So we could eliminate, uh, he did not know why he hit. And then that leaves us with, he hit in order to access the toy. Um, so which of the following explanations for this behavior demonstrates determinism? He hit in order to access the toy. Um, in order for us to actually know that, of course, we would need to conduct an FBA um, or an FA. Um, so I'm, you know, with this example, I'm just looking at what could be an explanation um, that would align with determinism. Um, so I hope that question and that breakdown of uh, A-2 helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions or clarification needed for any of these uh, concepts. I know there were quite a few in this um, topic, A-2. Uh, I will continue to upload more videos um, as we move on here through the BCBA task list. Um, we've got a few more uh, items in section A that we'll be covering. Um, before moving on to section B. Um, make sure you subscribe to continue following and I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys. Thank you. Have a great day.